This is Science Max, experiments at large. Science Max! This is a mouse trap. But don't worry, no mice are gonna be harmed in the making of this episode. Mouse traps are a great example of stored energy. You see, in order to set a mouse trap, you have to push this bar back. And it's hard to do because the spring holds it. And then you set the mouse trap by putting this little lever underneath this very sensitive trigger. And once you have it set, all that energy is stored as potential energy but it'll go off with just the slightest touch, releasing the energy. So what if I had a number of mouse traps and they're all set and all of that potential energy is stored up and I dropped a number of ping pong balls on them? Well, then I could set off a chain reaction where one mouse trap flies and hits another mouse trap that hits a ping pong ball and then they all go. Now this is something you can try at home, but do not set the mouse traps yourself. It can really hurt if it snaps on your fingers, so you should probably ask an adult to help you, and then you can see how brave the adults in your house are. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Mouse trap chain reaction. And last one. There we go. And now let's max this out. Let's do it with. 90 mouse traps. And this is a crate of ping pong balls. So let's see what happens when we put them together. <laughs> there you go, maxed out ping pong ball mouse trap chain reaction. <sighs> awesome. Here's a fun chain reaction you can do with popsicle sticks or craft sticks, because these ones are a little bit wider than popsicle sticks. It is because these kind of sticks are slightly bendy, and when you bend them and put them together in a pattern in a certain way, you can keep them under tension, and then they want to snap back, and then they'll fly. So here's how you make the pattern. Ready? You take a popsicle stick or a craft stick, and you put it down on the table. I know, okay, it's a slow start. Then we take another one and put it across. Now comes the secret. The secret is over and then under. You want to put it over one and then under another, like that. And then this one over, under. Put it over the one that looks like it's the top stick and under the stick that looks like it's the bottom stick. And then it starts to hold tension. It starts to hold the potential energy. Continue this pattern. Each stick goes over and under the two sticks at the end. Now here's the trick. Soon as this one lets go, then that one will let go, then that one, then that one, then that one, and that's how you get the chain reaction. They all start flying up. So you have to build it with never letting go of that last stick. You've got to always remember to keep a hand on it or else you'll have to start again. So, okay, so you ready? You want to see me let it go? Here we go. I know, that isn't so great because it's better if it's a longer chain. So fortunately, I have a longer chain. I've got a binder clip on this end keeping the craft sticks together. Ready? Three, two, one. Wow! Release of kinetic energy from the potential energy of winding all the craft sticks together. Fun, and you can totally do it at home. Now, let's max it out. Behold, almost 800 craft sticks in a long, nicely designed triangle. Ready? Two, one. Yeah! 
Plastic Chain Reaction. I'm gonna go get something to clean this all up with. <laughs> yeah! My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. <laughs> 